Welcome to another edition of IMO Sports. And still, <laughs> Javante Tank Davis destroyed Liam Walsh in the third round by TKO. It was an easy fight. At no time was Tank Davis in any trouble. It was pretty tactical. He was patient. He waited. And when he had his opportunity, he took it. He destroyed uh, Liam Walsh's confidence. You could tell that the whole fight, Tank was talking to him, letting him know, oh, you're not, you're not on my level. You can't handle me. And then when he went in for the kill, bow, bow, bow. Hit him on the side of the head. It was nothing Liam Walsh could do. Now, they were trying to say that it was stopped a little early. All it was is that the referee did not want him to take any more punishment because he wasn't doing anything to show that he was going to fight back. So it was just going to be another knockdown and then another knockdown to a knockout to where he's on his back looking up at the light. So I don't feel it was premature because it was inevitable that he was going to pretty much be laying face down or face up. And just like Mayweather said in the press conference, it was pretty much your choice, but face. You choose. Uh, shout out to uh, the money team for coming in here, bringing excitement, making the fight more than it was because at the beginning, it was real somber, but you could kind of tell that Floyd needed to ramp it up so mo more people would watch it. And that's exactly what happened. More people watched it. And it was just destruction. He went in there. He did what he needed to do. He took care of Liam Walsh. And at the end of the day, the brothers had to congratulate Tank Davis on a great victory. There's no complaints from Liam Walsh because he knew he was in trouble. And it was all that she wrote. It was a good fight. On to the next one. Let me know what your thoughts are. Until next time, it's Pedro Justice.